Lead Prosecutor Kai Ah Min Ong did not respond to a request for comment after the hearing. Myanmar government spokesman Zhta said, it will be carried out according to the law. The court is free, impartial, independent, and reliable. We guarantee that the defendants will have their own rights, which means choosing their own lawyers etc. At the time of their arrest in December, the reporters had been working on an investigation into the killing of 10 Rohingya Muslim men and boys in a village in western Myanmar's Rakhine state. The killings took place during an army crackdown that United Nations agencies say sent nearly 700,000 people fleeing to Bangladesh. In an account that closely followed his original testimony, but went into greater detail, Mo Yan Nang said that on December 12, hours before the reporters were arrested, he was among six officers who had previously been contacted by WA Loan who were interrogated by the police special branch. The internal investigation was led Police Brigadier General Tin Kokao, according to Mo Yan Ning. When Tin Kokao found out that one of the six, Lance Corporal Ning Lin, had been in contact with WA Loan but had not met him in person, he ordered Ning Lin to use his phone to arrange a meeting with WA Loan that evening. I know that Police Brigadier General Tin Kokao instructed Police Lance Corporal Ning Lin to give WA loan documents related to our frontline activities in order to have him arrested, Mo Yan Ning told Judge Yelwin, overseeing the proceedings. Mo Yan Ning said Tin Kokao told the policemen involved that if they did not get WA loan they would be detained. Family evicted he said he had been convicted and sentenced in his absence and still did not know which court had handed down the punishment. Mo Yan Nang has said he spoke to WA Loan in late November about police operations in Rakhine. He said WA Loan introduced himself as a reporter and interviewed Mo Yan Nang at a tea shop inside the headquarters of the 8th Police Security Battalion. WA Loan told journalists after the hearing that Mo Yan Nang bravely proved that in our society, there are people who adore the truth and justice.